Hey guys, we're gonna be installing these. Uh, um, these are the saddle blanket brown seat covers. We're gonna be installing these on the uh, 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. Just kind of introduction video to kind of show you how to install them and uh, yeah, and how they look. All right, so there's buckles that go along the top. I mean, uh, along the back of the covers here. This one's gonna go on this side. It has a hole right here. I'll show you where that goes. Um, but I'm gonna unclip all these first, like so. And then what you're gonna do is, this is just pretty much gonna sit up here. These are gonna go back. All right, so then you reach under and you grab your your strap here, and then it's just it's just the buckle, so it's just going to clip back to itself. And then I, I wouldn't really cinch it up just right now because you're going to have to do the same thing all the way down. So I'm going to try to make sure this one's well, and then I'm going to take my arm, slide it in between my seat, just like this. Reach in and look. Feel for the strap. So I uh, found out that it's easier to just lift the seat up because these seats don't come forward. So it's easier to just lift the seat up and it, you can actually get your arm through here easier and grab your straps through there instead of trying to go through this gap here. Um, if they're already, if they fell down where they need to go, then yeah, it's easier to just reach through the seat. But if they're kind of hung up at the top, because it's kind of tight up here, then it'll be harder for you to, you know, reach up that far through that tiny little crack. You have a bigger area right here that you can reach through. And if you have a bigger arm, you can just lift this up and it'll give you more room. But I have a pretty small arm so I can, I can reach up through here. Now the question is, is where did the... Hey guys, back here is Zach Van Dien. Um, when I was installing these seats, I realized that these buckles, if you notice on the bottom half, they have these little slits here. Well, that's for where the buckles go through, and then they buckle back to themselves on this. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to reach through, ah, reach through again, find your buckle, Pull your buckle through, loosen it, makes it easier, and then you're going to take your buckle and poke it through this, and then you're going to buckle it back to itself there. Then you cinch it up, because if you were to cinch it up before that, this wouldn't hold this piece on here, like that. So. Now that you've got all your buckles through, you're just going to have to go all the way down and uh, just refine them and unbuckle them and do it over. All the way over. So unbuckle this one. Like so, grab it, loosen it, pull it through here. Pull it through this as well. Loosen some more, make it easier on yourself. And then once that's the case. 
case and you're going to pull this this one back out hopefully it backs to it back to itself and then start tightening it again all right What is it? It's an impossible deed that these seats ask of you. Oh, I'm gonna funnel this through here. My fingers are worn out and I can't do it. Mm. Mm. Like a freak. Oh, it's just seamless, as you can see. See how flush this is? Oh, I mean, you can't even see any. I mean, it's like there's no difference. It's like the seats never changed, it hasn't changed. these you're gonna tuck in the seat another dollar another dime How the hell do I get in between the seat, man? No, I'm not. I'm no expert. Oh my god, you're kidding! Flipping fucking kidding! I thought this was gonna be fucking easy right here. smiling in the video like it's looking and having a good ass time, huh? Mm. Yeah. Having a good ass time. Yeah. This is the easiest thing I've ever done. Oh yeah, I'm cinching it up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. things here I jam them around that piece that black piece there. it fits better like that that one and pull 
pull this one out. Same thing. These are the True Timber camo, and uh, we're going to be installing them on this uh, 2000 Ford F-150. It's 2006. We're going to be uh, installing it on this uh, 2006 F-150. Uh, I'll kind of kind of show you all a brief uh, little introduction on how to install it and stuff like that, and then I'll give you my thoughts on what I think about the quality and uh, just overall review. Very nice snug fit, as you can see. Very nice. I like that. Yeah, I like that. So now you have on the inside of this, you have two buckles. You can unbuckle that, unbuckle that. Now these, I'm just gonna tuck into the side. Now these, you're gonna tuck through the bottom of your seat like so. Same thing with this one. Tuck that through the bottom of your seat. And then this is gonna fold over and you're going to slide this around like that. Slide and tuck where you can. All right. And then I'm going to grab my buckles from under the seat and I'm gonna buckle them to the front of this and tighten them up. the seat like before and you're going to grab and cinch these up it's it's actually easier if you go from the back and reach underneath the front piece has there's a, a bracket here you can't actually squeeze your hand in between so if you if you go around the back you can actually reach all the way up and cinch it up from there so I'm gonna grab my loose strap I want to cinch it I'm just gonna grab it Cinch it up like that. Do the same thing to the other side. Follow my strap all the way down. Grab my loose end, if I can get it. Give me a second. Loose end. Put that in. Grab this. Push that over that. Pull that nice and tight. Okay. This is the, they're gonna look bad. Really gonna squeeze it. <laughs> Mm. That would have been badass. Uh. 
I mean, I think they fit better. But I, I don't like the look of that, that brown in there. Mm. But I like how I like how tight these are. Mm. they're gonna matter for my truck because like um because mm -hmm. guys uh so just gonna review this real quick um if you watched our other video on the dodge these are definitely easier to install than the dodge um by far um they do um they look pretty good but the backs are pretty hard you have to have a tool to tuck in the rest of the back that's why you see it so loose here you have to have a tool because I, I can't even i can't possibly tuck that in with my finger um, I can't, I mean, can't even get a nail past that. So, um, so it is loose on top. Um, the headrests are a little loose. Um, I tried really morphing them on there, but they're still pretty loose. Um, and then just, you gotta always make sure that you try to tuck these, this stuff under the plastics. Um, so, like here, this would all be tr trying to tuck underneath the plastic there. Make sure you always keep your seatbelt out. Um, things under here, but, but always try to keep your seatbelt out of this. You'll have to tuck it through and then keep wrapping. Um, but like I said, it's definitely easier than the Dodge for sure. Um, now, one complaint um, that when we got these seats, 
we had told the owner that there was supposed to be a cutout here um, and there's actually a drop down armrest here that it, it's you know not cut out for it so um, that's another issue that we have but really don't use it that often but it is a feature that I wish you still had. These up top. Uh, these up here fit quite nice. I do like the way these are a lot more snug around the sides. Now, I, uh, I do like the way they fit wide-wise, and it was fairly simple. Um, but I don't like how poofy and puffy these are. Um, but, but I do think that they fit pretty snug on the sides, which I do like. And then, like I said on the back ones, I wish these um, headrests fit just a little bit better. But all in all, the material is really nice. I like the, the feel of this material. Um, is it water resistant? I'm not sure. It feels like it. it feels like it would be. Mm -hmm. um, but this is great. used to video. <laughs> This is great, uh, a great material for, you know, if you have dogs or anything like that. Um, all that material on the back is pretty tough stuff and uh, easy to clean up, you know, whatever is on it, you know. Um, seems to wick water pretty good, but other than that, um, I'm not quite sure if it's waterproof or not, but it does seem to wick water pretty good. So it makes for easy cleanup. Legacy of lovers in the sky Lingering softly Care for me and I will love you Like the cool soft moon at night on the water my senses are heightened at the sight of something so eccentric But numb from the nervousness You can take all my money, but you can't take my love I'll just keep praying to above that one day I'll find her Waiting Just to see